Can I get HIV at the top? How often should I get tested? What is syphilis? What is an undetectable viral load? Can my partner and I get tested together? How do I tell my partner I have gonorrhea? What kind of lube should I use with my toy? Can I get chlamydia in my throat? What is my risk for HIV? Do they make condoms in different sizes? Is there someone I can talk to about my risk? Is How do pre-exposure prophylaxis. And essentially what that means is it's a medication that a person can take uh, before becoming exposed to HIV to prevent HIV um, acquisition or becoming infected with HIV. So PrEP is something that you would get through your medical provider and it is a prescription so you do have to see a doctor in order to get the prescription. Part of the processing includes an HIV test, a hepatitis B test, um, and also some uh, liver and kidney panels along with other body function um, blood tests. You can move forward in that conversation with your provider. Some things to consider about PrEP is that it isn't very cheap. So if your medical insurance doesn't cover it, you can always go to start.truvada.com to get information about financial assistance to help with high copays for the prescription. Um, some other things to consider is that PrEP is hard on the body. And so if that's something that you feel like may not be a good fit for you, um, there are other options to help reduce the risk of HIV transmission. PrEP doesn't protect against H uh, doesn't protect against gonorrhea, chlamydia, or syphilis. So it is important to continue using condoms if you're not sure of your partner's other STD statuses. Um, having a PrEP in combination with the use of condoms and the absence of STDs can greatly reduce the risk of HIV transmission. So just another tool in the toolbox.